Hello, this is Christy. In today's tutorial for Affinity Designer, I will have a look at how to create a variable line width in the shape in the line tool so that you can have a variable stroke width. It's something that mimics like a brush stroke or a, or a brush pen stroke where the line is different at the start than at the end. Or, you know, you can make it thicker in the middle of the line and thinner at the edges. So this is how you achieve that with a simple line. So I have a new document here in Affinity Designer and I'm just going to use the pen tool, the pencil tool. You can use the pen tool as well to create a straight line or a curved line. It doesn't matter. So when I go to the pencil tool here, uh, you can press N and just draw a line. So I'm going to do a thick line here. So I'm going to change the width from 0.2 points to something thicker, maybe 20, 19 points, just to illustrate what I mean. So just draw a line here. It doesn't matter the shape or the uh, length of the line. And let's make it even thicker than this, you know, kind of like this. So this is my line. You can notice that the uh, line has a constant width all the way. And of course, you can use the node tool to, you know, draw around, pull around of it and make changes to it, um, you know, make it smoother or whatever. So how do you achieve this with uh, making the line seem like it was drawn by a, a, a brush or a, a brush pen or something that makes it thicker at one end? This is very easy. All you need to do is pull up the strokes panel and you can find it on the right here stroke. If you don't, you can go to the view menu and go to studio and you find it right here. You can turn it on. So let me pull this out so it's easier to see. Again, you see the same options that I have on the top bar here with the width and the cap and the joints and all that. I'm not going to look at that now. All I care about is the pressure profile right down here. So if you click on this pressure profile, you can see this kind of grid with two points on it, two starting and ending, one starting point and an ending point. And this may look confusing, but actually this is the thickness of the line from the start to the end. So with my line selected, of course, I can change and drag this and like this. And you notice the start of the line becomes thinner. If I pull on this other one, the end of the line becomes thinner. And the nice thing is you can do whatever you like in between. So if I want the middle of the line to be thinner, click on this line here to create a new node and just pull this node down like this. And now you see the middle of the line is thinner, but the, ed the ends are thicker. So this is what you can use to create variable width. So you can add as many points like this as you like. So to illustrate this better, let me just delete this and just drag a very short line like that. You notice the profile now respects my profile that I've designed here from the last line. So if I keep drawing like this, you notice how the thinner line just uh, becomes thinner in the middle like that and the edges are thicker like um, this respects this profile. So you can create some very interesting shapes like that. And what is nicer is if I select all of them now and I change this pressure profile, all of the lines will be affected. So look at this. I'm, I can make the uh, the start very thick, the end very thick, and then the middle kind of thin or almost invisible. And if you move it left and right, you notice the pressure profile just changes across the line uh, to suit you know the the width you want. So if you want a smoother line like this, you know this is how you do it. So this is very simple. So you can save this profile if you like. Uh, if you created a shape like uh, like this, for example, let's say you know you start with a thin line, but if you really need the starting to be thin, thicker, and the ending to be thinner, all you have to do is just put them all down here and create a new node and move that to the very left. So this is how you create like a starting thick point, uh, starting of the line, and then it just gets thinner by the end. You can taper it like this and create a different kind of uh, profile like that. So when you're happy with this, if you want to reuse this profile, you can just click Save Profile here and it's going to save it in your uh, in your library here. So you can reuse it and create more. So for example, I want to I create another one that has a, 
a very thick middle of the line like that, I can save that as well. So you have all these profiles here to use and apply to a selected line. So if I now click on this one, the middle one, pressure profile, change just that one. So if you have more complex graphics, of course, this is going to apply to all of them. And is also this profile is sensitive to the width of the line. So if I change the width of the line, this doesn't uh, mess with my profile, with my pressure profile. It just makes everything proportionally thinner or thicker um, as it is and still respects this shape that I designed here. So this was it. This is a very easy thing to do, but it actually has great visual effects. So if you found this useful, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more Affinity Designer tutorials. Thanks for your time. See you next time.